Give it up for improv. Love it. Put more hands for Kelly for putting this whole thing together. Love it. She put it all together before the forest fires. You should know that. Slightly suspect. Um, <laughs> just gonna say that. Um, let's see, I need a suggestion from the audience on an event to get started. This one. I heard stand-up comedy. Okay. <laughs> oh, very festive in here. We did just have Thanksgiving though. Can we stop pretending that we like turkey? <laughs> Can that happen? There's a couple people that are like, I do like turkey. You don't. <laughs> you're a patriot, but you're a fucking liar. <laughs> Here's the deal, you can't like something you have to do that much preparation for to make it edible. You just can't. If you've never made turkey, here's what you do. You gotta season it, you gotta brine it, you gotta like take it to the movies and shit, like all this stuff, and then you put it in the oven for like 15 hours and it's still awful. <laughs> it's terrible, it's dry, it's disgusting, and then you're like, I love it, it goes really great with like cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, all this stuff. You're like, that's fucking everything. <laughs> everything goes well with that. 100% of things you can eat go well with that. <laughs> It's like your friend, he's like, I love coffee, but I take it with 15 sugars and 80 pounds of cream. He's like, dude, you don't like coffee. You should try a different beverage, because it is not working for you. That is not coffee. It's like, like what if I introduced my girlfriend, it's like, she's so hot when she puts on makeup over her five o'clock shadow. Like, then she's really hot. It doesn't work like that. Uh, let's see, I've been watching a lot of Netflix lately. I feel like there's really only two. Yeah, give it up for Netflix. Paid me negative seven ninety nine a month for that book. Appreciate the love. Hope I get re up next month by paying my credit card bill. Um, but uh, yeah, I watch a lot of Netflix. There's basically only two genres on Netflix I've learned. It's stand up comedy and murder. So it's like those are your two. Those are your two choices. You want to laugh or you want to see someone get stabbed in the neck? Netflix. That should be their slogan. Uh, I love the murder shows though. I just think they're really great. There's so much fun. All these murder shows. You got like Making a Murderer. You got The Staircase. You got this show about nuns and shit. It's like I don't even know why people call the cops anymore. It's like just call Netflix. Let's figure that shit out in like 13 episodes. <laughs> Saw that really quick. Yeah, but uh, I've been dating in LA. Haven't had a whole lot of success recently. Yep. Got a couple woos. Come see me after the show. Give me some tips. That'd be great. I noticed, however, though, that I've had more success when I go with the no glasses look. I don't know what it is. Like, I started going to bars and started doing a lot better. At first, I was like, oh, okay, I look better without glasses. And then I realized I don't have contact lenses. I just can't see any of these fucking people. I'm taking home garbage. But I am cleaning up. Absolutely cleaning up. It works pretty well until you wake up in the morning, you put on your glasses, you're like, fuck me. Did not expect that. It's awful. Best case is you roll over, she's gone, but she's not gone. She's on the wall, like. It's bad. It's a good system, though. I'd recommend it. It is. Had kind of a weird start to my sexual life. Where we're going? So strap in. There ain't got a whole lot of ways around this. I wish I didn't have to do this, but I do. I lost my virginity at age 14. Thank you, it wasn't to him, but thank you. I did, it's true, it's 100% true. I know you think it's awesome. She was 17, it was not awesome, I'll tell you why. I got dumped shortly thereafter, and then I had to like go back to hanging out with my 14-year-old friends. <laughs> not a whole lot of action there. If that's what you've experienced, it's not good. Like They're talking about how great their bar mitzvah was, and I'm like, that's cool, you want to fuck her? <laughs> Not there? Okay, give me, I'll give you a couple of years, I'll come back. But we're the same age, so like, call me. Um, <laughs> that's true, it's 100% true. Um, let's see, what else? What else did we want to talk about? Dating in LA is great. 
not <laughs> as referenced by the virginity and Netflix jokes. Uh, I do kind of like dating in, in LA though. Everyone here is so good looking. It's really weird. Yeah, it's like the land of actresses and models and shit. I got friends back in Boston. They're like, man, what's it like? You're just surrounded by so much talent all the time. Like, it must be just like great. I'm like, it's not. It's a lot like walking into a really nice restaurant and then like opening up the menu and realizing, shit, I can't have any of this. <laughs> can't, can't afford it. <laughs> Cannot have it. Um, let's see. Uh, but watch a lot of Bachelor. Anybody else watch Bachelor? Yeah. Oh yeah, hot room for Bachelor. Okay, <laughs> love it. Usually I get like one or two people, and I'm like, fuck, here we go. <laughs> um, love it. But watch a lot of Bachelor. If you don't know what the Bachelor is, for the three people in here that don't watch the show, uh, it's basically a show where 26 smoking hot women compete for the love of one below average guy. <laughs> so what it is? Uh, they're not stupid. They're really, really smart. Like, they get out of the limos. They're like, hey, I'm Cindy. I'm a NASA engineer, and, like, in my free time, I like to cure cancer. And you're like, that's, that's cool, Cindy. What's up? And then she gets out of the limo. She walks up to meet Brian, a software salesman from Boise, Idaho. <laughs> and right away, she's like, that's my soulmate. That's my guy. I'm going to claw all these other Cindy bitches out of the way. Because I'm here to find love. That's the thing, they're always saying I'm here to find love, it's really weird. I'm not here to find love. I, uh, I'm really enjoying being single, I don't want to have kids. It's not on the horizon for me. I just don't want to do that. Kids just do weird stuff. They do weird things you can't prepare for. A couple of you guys are here, you're like, fucking A, I've seen kids, they do some weird shit. <laughs> it's real, they do, they do weird things. I'm an uncle, which is great, but it's not being a father, which is awesome. <laughs> it's like that friend with the boat. It's like, you don't have to clean the boat. The boat shits his pants, but like, you can hang out with the boat. You can, you can hang with the boat as much as you want. I'm not cleaning that shit up. Uh, no, it is great being an uncle. It's nice. It's really, really cool. But yeah, kids do weird stuff. They just do weird, weird things. Like yesterday in the bath, my brother has two twin boys. Two twins, the cutest thing in the world. True story. Like, I would make that fucking part up. Um, they're the two cutest things in the world, but yesterday in the bath, one of them bit the other one on the penis. It's a power move, first of all. Power move. I've been doing that to people now, I pretty much own it. It's going pretty well for me. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to prepare for that. I have no idea what that, like, what, what do you do? I asked my brother, I was like, dude, what'd you do? He's like, what can I do? Like, he runs the house now. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. Thank you. Up next is my good friend who's gonna school ya. He's been schooling me for a long time when we were in the, what was it, seventh grade? I switched around the stickers on his Rubik's Cube and he noticed like right away. Uh, smartest guy I know, great guy, nicknamed Math, give it up for Paul Marino. Woo!